have you been asked to find the mass percent of sodium and oxygen in sodium oxide, but you're not sure how to do it? Well, good thing you clicked on this video because that's what I'm going to teach you. It's a very quick and simple process. First, we're going to find the total mass and then we can find those percents. Easy peasy. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing we do is write down the elements of the compound. So we've got sodium and we got oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if there's no subscript at the bottom of the element, just put in a 1. So we've got 2 sodium, 1 oxygen. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each particular element. Those masses are found on the periodic table, so you've got to take a look. 22.99 for sodium, 16 for oxygen, and that's what we're going to write down. So 22.99 for sodium, oxygen is going to be 16, and then we're simply going to multiply that row on across to find the total mass of the element and 45.98. That's what happens when your brain moves faster than your mouth. That's what you sound like. Blah, 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 blah. So then when you're going to add this column on up, that's going to help you find the total mass of the entire compound. So 61.98. And that was the first step of the process, right? We had to find that total mass of the compound, which we did. Now I'm going to add a simple column to the table and calculating these percents are going to be easy as pie. Bam. So to calculate the mass percent of sodium, we're going to simply take the total mass of the sodium, the 45.98, units of mass, and we're going to divide it then by the 61.98 total units of mass for the entire compound. This is a simple percent, right? Part over whole times 100. So you only need to look at this column now when you're calculating the mass percent or the percent uh, composition, all right? So this is then 74.19%. That's the percent for uh, sodium, that is. And then oxygen, you simply take the total mass of the oxygen, 16 divided by 61.98, multiply that by 100, and then you're simply going to find 25. 81%. All right. And then if you like, you can add these two percentages together. And I forgot the percent sign there, right? Uh, what the heck is going on? Computer's malfunctioning. And if you added them together, you'd find that the total is 100. That's a nice way to little uh, to check yourself. I'm not real. What is going on with me today? All right. I think I need a break. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.